what is up everyone so it's the bong again here so i recreated my server so that i will show you exactly how to install the ox inventory so as you can see guys there's nothing right now i don't have any inventory because this is the default of esx now let's start now open your browser and search for ox inventory just like this and select this on a github and uh, you will see that there is a latest version so you click that latest and then ox inventory that zip so you can see guys it is new version four days ago it was uploaded so we have downloaded it the next thing that we're going to download is the ox lib so this is the required at all ox product so you just have to click the latest version and then go down for oxlab.zip and just simply click it and it will be downloaded. Back to github page you will see that OX inventory has a documentation. Now you will see that there are a lot of options that you can do here. And there is also an optional dependency for you to use like for example the OX target. So I always use that OX target at all so you can install it whenever you need it now let's start installing the ox inventory by just going to the download page and open this uh, i use 7 zip for this or a winner you just have to copy this one and of course you go to the file locations of where the server was installed so for me it was located at my g drive now i want my files to be organized so i will create a folder called ox just follow everything I did in this video so that there will be no errors. Now let's go back to where we can find the server.cfg. So everyone has it. So I open it using Visual Studio Code. You can download it right now if you don't have one. Now here you will add everything what you added on your server folder. So let's say ensure OX. So that's the folder that we have added to the resource folder. And if you forgot to add ensure OX folder to your server CFG, then the folder that you have created will not be read by your server. Now in our OX folder that we have created, we can create a folder called OX inventory, which is the name of the resources that we added to our server. And this is the same folder right there and you can just simply drag it here so I will delete it and it will, will, I will drag the file folder name in here and it will be added to my server folder now we go back to the documentation and we will see that there is a config so the resource is using a concarb so we have to copy this one we just have to highlight it and copy this one open the visual basic studio there we go I just close it and then reopen it and this is the server cfg so what we need here is we have to create a new file all right on the top right you will see file and create new file and then we have to add the config name so let's say config.cfg and then we are going to save it to the file location of ox inventory so first of all this is the location tx data asx legacy resources ox and then ox inventory in here you have to save this or create this file now let's go back to our documentation OX documentation and copy the config that is listed right there and then paste it here now this is the configuration of your ox inventory now first of all we have to adjust our framework which is instated as esx so if you're using cubicore you can change it as cubicore so this is it one seat we are going to change according to our needs now if you change something right here you don't forget to save it so that it will be saved now before the show must go on 
we have to open the server CFJ again and then we will add everything that we added to our folder so I will just simply arrange it so that it will be organized okay now uh, let's open it and this is it that's it now it is so easy we just have to uh, organize uh, arrange it correctly so first of all the ASIC ASIC at OX inventory slash conti cfg so we need to add this to our server cfg in order to read our file that we added to the ox inventory so just add this code snip it here and then okay you just follow it correctly so if you miss something right here it will not work correctly so make sure that everything I did in here is correct so you can see the config.cfg will be added right here so that the server will read that the file location is in here so that your server will read it okay now next thing is we have to ensure OX inventory. So there you go. And what up next is we have to add OX target. So we can simply add it right here. So um don't forget to add OX target over here. You can put it anywhere it was not required to uh, uh, put it anywhere so this is it now uh, we have to install the OX target since it was very useful in our server it will be used as a targeting object so it was like the third eye of your uh, person so just drag and drop the OX target folder to your server files and of course don't forget the ox lab to be added to your resources you just have to drag it in here that's it it's so very simple now let's go back to server cfg where the magic happens so this is this must be correctly added to your server cfg and or else it will not work correctly so ensure ox lev and then ensure esx extended sorry es extended es extended there you go now i will show you that it was located on the core and es extended folder so that is the core and um, if you're using an linear you will also add it there so of course we have to move that uh, this one which is called ensure core so this is the folder of core so we are going to move it below ox inventory and there you go now i think it was all good uh, we'll see the documentation if there is nothing wrong with our installation so if you're using a different framework you have to uh, add this to your server cfg as well but actually this ox extended was created to work on esx legacy and qbox there you go so uh, uh, a little example you have to put it in here and then 
change this custom into like for example cubicore or something like that so this is the example which is the server of my own which is currently running and it's called Matui Tadaan City so it it is very important to not miss anything so for us we are going to remove it since we are using ESX legacy now we go back to uh, framework and of course OX this is it um, the installation the correct the correct formation so now if you have something like um, you want to convert your old inventory so if you have old inventory and then you have to convert it to the latest inventory which is the ox inventory we just have to um, copy it on our console and then paste it and then it will convert every items on your old inventory to the new inventory now we we are going to run our server now by running the console and there we go and we see that we have this problem right there so now this is the time that we are going to search for or we have to debug where did we make something wrong so if you have this problem then you don't have to worry because we are going to fix it we will find it i think um i forgot to save our you know a server cfg so we add we added the tweaks right there but we forgot to save something so now we are we're going to run it again so we have to close the command uh, command console this is it and we have to wait until it will see that there's no error anymore and as you can see guys um it was running correctly and there's no error in it so as i said earlier don't forget to save something if you edit this so always save this one okay now you have to save this in order to execute correctly the resources that we added so now we're going to open the 5m and we'll see if it works correctly now let's connect to our dabong test youtube server so i think i'm gonna add a lot more resources to this and i will record everything for you guys to have it on your server as well and as you can see guys this framework is using a uh, latest um, latest object um, late. there you go as you can see guys we have installed uh, the OX inventory so it's so simple you can just come follow everything and you will not have any problem so first of all um i will say that if you are using an old inventory so you have to convert it by just adding this code but it will not work on f8 console so you have to add it here but i'm not allowed to add it so i will just open the tx menu so if you want to open the tx you just have to go up and search for this local host there you go you just have to, to type it onto your browser then log in because you have created a username for it and a password and then let's go to uh, the console and then uh, we have to face this and boom it will be converted automatically to your old from your old inventory to the latest inventory so i hope that this video will not uh, will help you on installing ox left and i hope that there's no problem in it 
but if you have problems with it then you just have to comment down below or join our discord